I'm going to show you how to deploy a Streamlit app onto Google Cloud Run. I've done two videos that show you how to deploy a Streamlit app to Heroku. I will leave a link to those two videos in the description below. But today it's about how to launch a Streamlit app onto Google Cloud Run. Before I get going, if you, as you watch this video and you find it interesting, helpful, or useful, please like and subscribe. Here we go. First requirement is that you have a GCP account set up already, a Google Cloud Platform account. If not, head over to a search engine, put in Google Cloud Console, something like this will pop up, and go to GCP and sign up for it. it they, they'll give you a 90-day, $300 free trial. All right, and so once you get over to your, um, so the next thing you got to do is get to your Google uh, console um, and click this icon that says activate cloud shell. Let's activate that. That's the first thing. So once you got the cloud shell activated, let's start the process of deploying uh, the app that I just showed you to, GC, uh, to Google Cloud Run. Now, by the way, Google Cloud Run is one of the, using Google Cloud Run is one of the ways to launch a Streamlit app uh, or deploy a Streamlit app on on GCP. Uh, I find using Google Cloud Run is what I do. It's uh, pretty straightforward. It's straightforward, and um, I'm not a like a heavy, you know, uh, app person. I don't launch that many apps for global usage. So, yeah, this is the way to go. Google Cloud Run. So, first thing in here is that you have to have a GitHub repository set up for this app. So there are a bunch of files here app.py this is the python code that creates created this app so you need that python code you need two other files docker file and requirements.txt and i'll unpack what what those two things are shortly so the first thing we got to do is clone that github repo that's the first step once you open activate your cloud shell let's clone the repo that houses our app it's asking you for your username for github.com what's your credentials your credentials so my username is this and my password let me go ahead and put that in oh no it says support for password authentication was removed back in 2021 so the password that works for you on to get into github.com just generally will not work here so for security purposes what is required is having a fine-grained personal access token i'm going to leave you a link to this documentation from github that shows you step by step how to create your own fine-grained personal access token for for each of your repos or for your entire account it will tell you what the difference is as you go through the steps it's really set up uh, nicely if you just follow all the steps you're going to have a fine-grained personal access token that you will need to deploy onto GCP. Actually, this is going, you know, if you're looking to deploy to AWS, fine-grained personal access tokens required there as well. So let's clone it again. All right, now I'm going to put in my fine-grained token, and it works. All right, so now that we have done this, um, let's move over to this repo that we just cloned gemini mtg calc all right so we have done that now uh, we need to create a python environment uh, virtual environment uh, and we're just going to call it gemini gcalc stay consistent here so it's creating the <coughs> virtual environment and now we're going to activate it uh, so we're going to say source uh, name of the environment Gemini MTG calc slash um, bin activate all right so it's been activated next thing we got to do is uh, pip install the requirements.txt so let me unpack that guy for you so we have to install this requirements.txt so what's in this txt file it should list all the Python libraries that are required to create this Streamlit app. So I obviously I need Streamlit. I'm doing some plotting. I have Matplotlib. I need NumPy. This last two guys are required if you're going to uh, deploy to GCP. You must have this line uh, item number four and five. Okay. 
I forgot to mention this. Uh, shame on me. I'm going to leave a link to my repo in the description below as well. So you can get to this repo and you will have all of these guys here, right? So these two guys, number four and number five, anytime you're looking to deploy to GCP, you got to have these two guys, okay? All right, so um, let's pip install. Basically, we have to install the libraries that are listed in our requirements dot txt file requirements dot txt all right so it's going to start to install those libraries that we asked for and many other standard libraries it, it will install as well so let's look at the docker file while it's installing all those uh, libraries um, again i'm going to leave you a link to this so you're going to have the docker file and you for every time you want to launch the gcp you got to create this with a capital d docker file and these are the six lines it's rinse and repeat you need this six lines uh python version is either 310 311 and uh the uh, the key thing you got to remember i'm going to assume we're going to use what i'm giving you so if you had if your app if your python code is xyz.py you need to put in xyz.py i will i always call my uh, codes app.py so it's pretty standard okay so let's check on this guy and yes it has been all those things have been exp uh, installed so now we got to export a bunch of things like what's the what's my project name on gcp that i'm going to be using uh, to deploy this app so i'm going to use avi api i'm already set up there i have a bunch of different projects but for this demonstration i'm using my sort of my dummy go-to project uh, next thing we got to do is export our region. If you are familiar with GCP, which, uh, which is what I'm assuming, you already know what I'm talking about. And if not, if you're going to be using this, if you're just, if you're going to be actually signing up for a GCP account, it will, sh it will give you your default region based on where you are, if East Coast, West Coast, but I'm on the East Coast, but I'm, I have a central one, which is fine. Um, yes, you know, misspelled. And all right, done. Next thing we gotta do is we gotta export um, our repo and service name. And you guys might be wondering, like I'm just typing out export this, export that, you know, pip install this. What I've done is I've taken the time to write down all the steps that are required for you to deploy to GCP. And I created a PDF file and I will put this PDF file in my repo here. So you will see a fifth file by the time you get to it that will have, um, uh, sorry, let me. Uh, that will have this PDF file, so you can do step by step, right? I did pip install, uh, export project, region, all that stuff. Like, and here's a bunch of more steps left to deploy the deploy the app. All right, so uh, let's do. I already did that. Let's export our repo. Oh, shoot, I just realized. Um, can't use hype uh, underscore. So I'm going to use hyphen instead. So guys, I'm in my PDF. I have underscore. So whatever you name, yeah, I mean, trying to keep it simple. I'm really bad at naming, but if you don't, you cannot use hyphen. Got to use. Uh, I mean, cannot use underscore. Yes, you can use hyphen. All right. I'm just used. I always use underscore, and I got to remember when I do this. Um, um, let me just stay consistent. I'm going to show you guys. Like, if you had this, you would just really take this guy here. Um, and paste it and again I got to like change them to hyphens I'm really bad at naming conventions so guys so hopefully you guys are better and don't even need to use like hyphens or anything like that I'll show you later how this uh, service name gets used and all that okay so we did that there's no underscores okay good then the next step we got to do is we got to create this container here. Uh, come on, it's going to create requested, blah, blah, blah. All right. Okay, it created the repository. All right, we're done. Okay, so next step is, all right, um, we got to configure the Docker. Let me see if I. This right GCP Docker package. Yeah, it's configured. That's how it should be. Okay. All right. Okay. 
so it has credentials for US Central 1. Okay, done. That's what it should say. Next step is I got all of them included. Okay. All right, it's all done here. Okay. Then the next step that's left here is this. Let's do this. There we go. So, see this guy here? This is your URL, right? That you would give to your friends or whatever, colleagues, you know, because you want to like, share your app that you built and uh, broadly share it with a bunch of other people. You would give them this. And remember earlier I said about service name? So, this was the service name I had used Gemini dash mortgage, blah, 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 blah. If you had called it like mortgage calculator only like something like that that's what you would show uh, that would show up here right so the service name is really your uh from your url perspective you'd see your service name um dash then all this is generated by uh, gcp and it, it will run in um run dot app okay so let me click on this guy here okay and it should load the same app that, <laughs> so, okay, so it's the same as this other guy. <laughs> it looks pretty much the same. Yeah, the fonts look a little larger on my local host versus here. But anyways, it's the same app, okay? So we've done that. Um, well, class. All right, so we're done with launching our app. All right, guys, that is all it took to launch on GCP. If you found this useful and helpful and if you did please like and subscribe until next time